Alrighty guys, hello, hello, welcome to another Wednesday stream. Pay me central, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the crazy crew, hope you are having a great Wednesday. We are doing more nostalgia games this week. We got another Freddy Fish game to get through and another Pajama Sam. So we're going to be starting off with Freddy Fish 3, the case of the stolen conch shell. Uh, I'm gonna start the game and then OBS will will pick it up. It's just it's one of those fussy ones And I didn't want to kill the beginning cutscene for you guys so Let's get this underway. Hope you guys are all having a great Wednesday and Yeah, let's do this more crazy 1990s games <laughs> Cuz why not? <laughs> There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to. One sec. One sec. I gotta kill the volume. Oh, it's so loud. How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Okay. Gosh, Luther, I fixed it. it. I fixed really it. Great of your hey, Uncle Cupid! Cupid. <laughs> well, Uncle four thousand. Wow, look at that. And hey, Heineken, another four thousand. You know, Pull it in a commercial break of a new show we started. But look at his love. Uh huh. <sighs> nice. Nice. Good work. It's pretty good. We're doing good on that goal. But yes, welcome to another 1990s kids game. This one I did play growing up. So this week we've got two that I did play as a kid. Last week we had a new one that I hadn't played in the series. And this week I have played this one. And I'm pretty sure I finished this one. I wish I think I finished both of these. Have a good time. But yeah, so we're starting off. Freddy Fish and the Case of the Stolen Conch Shell. You guys are busy earning your Twitch points over there. Getting ready for those four Tolix. <laughs> and look, Toby is here waiting for some treats. You guys can also use your channel points for those. Toby appreciates it. I know, Toby. They haven't given you one yet. Toby had a bit of a, um, oh, there's Heineko. Toby had a bit of a rough start to the day. He, I don't know what he was doing, but he started barfing, like, late last, well, early this morning. He woke me up at, like, three. And <laughs> apparently, you know those little, like, shiny cat toy balls? We had some really, really tiny ones. And apparently he ate some of them, and then they didn't agree with him. So then he was barfing them up. And so he barfed up, like, four in my room. And then I found another one. <laughs> <laughs> so we might have to buy out a band tiny little shiny toys from Toby because apparently he eats them. And then they make him sick. Yeah, I thought he was having a hairball or something, but it was toys. Because he's weird. But he's feeling better now. He just had a bit of a, a rough start to his day. You guys keep stepping on this camera or something because it keeps getting lower and lower and then nobody can see your face, Toby. I don't know what he's doing. At least it's out. I hope they're all out, because there was the last one that he puked up, or maybe he did that one first and I didn't even hear it. It was, like, mostly, like, I thought it was a hairball. That's how gross and, like, slightly digested it was. The other ones aren't so bad, but they're going in the trash. But at least it's out. And he seems to be better now, like, he's eating and drinking and stuff, and he didn't throw up his dinner, so that's good. <laughs> he just likes to, you know, slightly terrify me. But yeah. Exciting start to the stream. <laughs> that has been my day. Alrighty. We are visiting Uncle Someone. I missed that at the beginning. Flamingos. Hey, Pelican Sam, here's a riddle. What kind of fish can you catch in a delicatessen? Is the game yeah, an okay volume, pickle. guys, or is it too you loud, too quiet? A pickerel in a delicatessen store? Yeah. Also, Monty got me coffee on the way home. That was Boy, nice. Luther, you're lucky you're friends with Freddy. All right, I guess we're going into the ocean. Uh, it could be a little bit louder. Okay, I did turn it down, so I can turn it a little bit back up. Okay. Let me know if that's better once I start talking. Hey, Look. Luther. What word do the letters U-R-C-H-I-N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Rain spelling. Ah! <laughs> Here, 
they're so silly. They spell urchin, as in, we found a purple sea urchin. Those darn purple sea urchins. Gotta keep an eye out for them. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! <sighs> I'd better hold on to kind of this. Sign ago. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. You just never do. And hopefully my computer, knock on wood, does not freeze up tonight. I don't know what it was doing the other night. All right, look at Luther, this. Freddy, over here. Crap, this one we get a fancy city kind of thing. Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch. <laughs> Dogfish, I'm yep. Prime Dogfish, Heineko. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Oh yeah, because we can have different outcomes. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used soggy. to be. Oh, but soggy. if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, hope. Freddy Fish. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. This is the... You can make a criminal... Man, I used to spend hours doing this, and I don't know why, because it's slightly terrifying, the creations that you can make. <laughs> nightmare fuel, I go more nightmare fuel for you. And then you can, like, make them different colors. That's terrifying. I like these random, like, little extras that they put in the game. And then, yeah, you can name them and <laughs> fish with a Karen haircut. Yep. This is a Karen fish. Here, we'll make an official Karen fish. So she's got the Karen haircut. What kind of eyes does a Karen have? Karen has six eyes. All the better to see you with. Ah, uh, there you go. Perfect little lipstick. What does a Karen wear? A Karen dress. What kind of fish is a Karen? One with creepy antennas. Oh, a swordfish. Like a Karen, a swordfish. <laughs> There's her carrying her complaints as waffles. Ball and chain Karen. All right, what color is our Karen fish? Let's make her yellow. Yellow Karen. You can give her like different colored eyes. Oh, you can. That's terrifying. Well, she's got pink eye now. Okay. And I'm gonna need a someone to take a screenshot of the Karen fish and put it on uh, Discord. Be like the official Karen fish. I don't know if the waffles quite fit. What do you think? Waffles? No waffles? I know we're supposed to be doing something important, but I got distracted by the Karen fish. Let's change the color of her hat. Black, like her soul. No. Ah, we'll make it blue to match her dress. There we go. Do, 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 do. 
Look at that. And then we need to get rid of all of these and name her the Karen fish. I don't know if that'll actually fit in here, but it should. T H E K A E R N Fish. If we do it all as one word, then it'll fit. Oh, we got letters. Oh, we got unhappy faces. Holy cow. Six thousand clicks later, we will have the fish's name. on this one. Would it suck if I missed the letter that I needed? Karen. Oh, this one's gonna have to go all the way through. Alright, Karen Fish. And then anyone who sees this in Discord without context is gonna be so confused. H. All right. I don't know if I like the waffles. What else do we got? Plunger. She's gonna plunger us away. The Karen fish. Oh, there you go. That looks. She's impatiently yo-yoing while she's yelling at us for customer service. Oh, Karen fish. Okay. There we go. What else do we got for tails, just out of curiosity? Yeah, okay, we're done with the bowling chain. There we go. We have created a Karen fish. I need- I can't screen capture on my own thing with this game, because it's- It'll just minimize. Can someone take a screenshot of the Karen fish for me? Please? Or I guess I can do it later. I can go into my body. But anyways, Karen fish! I present you the Karen fish. And now, back to the game. Okay. Drink card. Nope, we're not drinking that coffee. Oh. You just stole my donut. Got it? Great. Thank you, Heineko. <laughs> The Karen fish. All right, what are we doing? Right, we're solving the crime. All right, well, shall we go? We've got a clammy. We've got the left road or the right road. Where shall we go, guys? Tell me in chat. Clam, left, right. This is a statue of our founder. It is in his honor that we hold the annual Founders Day Festival. Exciting. <laughs> I think you're the one, Heineko. You're making the decisions right now. So I will wait. Anything else I can put on? Parting noises while I wait for you. Crazy pics. Oh, okay. I'm going this way. It looks fun. It's got flags. Fun with flags. You know. Step right up, gills and buoy oh. for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Okay, apparently we can go all kinds of places. Hmm. <laughs> got four purple sea urchins just burning a hole in your pocket? 
and step right up to Gilbarka's fantastic okay. floating Four pond. You'll have more fun than a barrel Keep of brain those eyes and peeled. end up taking home a fabulous fun house mirror. This one is a demo. The one you get will be even better. Just pay, then play, do it today. Hey, 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 and what do you say? Okay, well, we don't have enough sea urchins, so we might go in there. Let's go in here. Why not go into a creepy mouse? Hey, look, a purple sea urchin. Wow, it's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Purple sea urchin. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. Hey, it's the fox dude. Hard work pays off. Words of wisdom. It's not indeed. a fortune. All right. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day festival. I love music. Look. It's one of the golden pipes. You're right. But how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. Oh, Luther. It looks like the orange sponges move. Those purple sponges move the golden. Outstanding. The golden pipe can't move that far. Maybe we should try a different colored key to make the golden pipe move. The color of the key we... I wonder if pressing a purple... There's nowhere for the golden pipe to land over there. Maybe we should try pressing this or... A purple key would match where the golden... I don't think that's the way we want to go. Okay, what if we do that's this? That's the idea! Aha! The brain is working. Okay. So this is the number of spaces it moves it, I guess. I don't know. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. Okay. We should probably try a different key if we want to get past that rubber stopper. Hmm. We're not moving the golden okay. pipe One, very two, fast. Three, four, five. Six. Okay, I gotta put it back to. to we here. want to okay. move yes, the golden pipe towards the chute. Strangle this it. fish. Okay, we need to move it three. It seems to be working. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right. Here we go. Okay, good. One, two, three. Keep it up, and we we'll have that golden pipe out in no time. One, two, three. Would put me there. Two would put me there, which I don't want, I don't think. Unless I need to go back and then forward. Uh, but that would put me one, two, three. Two would do. Which if I go there... Then I'd have to do one. I could try that. So let's try. I wonder if the Oops. color of the. We're on the right track. At this rate, it'll take forever one, two, to get the golden three. pipe out. And then I go one, two, three, four, which I can do. Right? Wow, we're really on top of this. Hey, I did it! I did it! I did it! Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Give Toby a treat. Ah, success, Toby treat. Now we Don't need go. just two I don't more know why golden pipes for old doggy oh, to pick up the there. scent. Toby, he's in a deep sleep. Toby, it's one of those sleeps where I can. Oh no, not quite. <laughs> Hi, yes, treat. There you go. Crazy little dude. There 
our nine drop. Oh, I was hoping that it would change things. Oh. We can change. Heineko's favorite kind of piano, the dog barking piano. Mm. Mm. I like this one. These little ones sound like cows. <laughs> Chaos at the office! The call center's going wild! Okay, anyways, I'll get out of here before I... Um, Drive you all Nobody crazy. knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Well, we already found one, so we're doing pretty good. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. <sighs> only one. I've, I've only been playing for what? So dark Two seconds. Here, Freddy. I'm scared. I'll protect you, Luther. All right, so we need some form of light source, I am assuming, to go into there. All right. One gold pipe. All righty. Well, let's continue down this path, I guess. Look, it's an our wall. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Who do you think stole the great conch shell? I can't believe that anyone would take the great conch shell. It is just too important. But if you really must know, Rosie Pearl looks awfully suspicious. Mm -hmm. Rosy Pearl, you say? Look, Freddy! It's a purple sea urchin! Got it! I remember that. Look, Luther! The doorway's clear! Swell! Another catchy tune, I brought to you by Freddy Fish. Do, 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 do. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't Jazzy. go swimming too close to my door down in the deep blue sea. I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. <laughs> Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you wanna mess with me. Sounds good. All right. Well, that sound deep into the monkey sea. Well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make. I like how catfish so aren't cool. cats in this universe, but dogfish are I'll dogs. Make feel so cool on. All right. Oh, I'm a little fish who's always swimming to and fro. I always eat my seaweed because it helps me grow. Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear. But for now I'm a little fishy who is hiding under here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to multitask here. Give me one second to try and get this to work. Under the water is the place for me. What about Squid Father's catfish? Oh yeah, he has a catfish. So I guess there's different variations of catfish. Under the 
water in the deep blue sea. Mm -hmm. Swimming down with my fishing friend. It's where the fun, it never ends. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what we're going with, apparently. Alright, one second, guys. Second here. All right. So, sorry about that, guys. Let's continue. Oh, Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes. I won't fit in these tubes, Luther. But you. So sometimes can go. the golden pipes will pop, like they'll be in here. So you have to figure out which. Hey, just open that tube. So we don't really have anything to do in here because I don't see anything in the tubes that we need to pick up. But, but yeah, you have to figure out which levers do which tubes sometimes to get a, a pipe. We don't need anything in here, so we are good. Okay, sorry, sorry, I'm trying to look at something while doing things. Alright, I think for now, because we're one sea urchin short, we have to go back to here. And I guess we'll go down the next path. Why not? Hello, Mr. Alright, this time I will make you guys pick. Left or right? Let me know. Waiting on you guys. And you guys have made a decision. All right, I'm making a decision. We are going right. Gee whiz, guys! I give you autonomy, and you don't. Hey, uh, dude. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am horse feathers. I am. I can a happy tune whistle. Hey, Hello, King Zap Six! Thanks for that follow. That Welcome to the crazy crew over on um, Kick. How are you doing today? Let me get a bean boozle for that follow. Hope you are having a good day. All right. We have a green bean, which I think will be lime, although it could be a, a rogue jalapeno bean. Hang out. Hey, Major Pickles, what's good, homie? What is good? We are doing some nostalgia games. 
fun little old games today. That is Wednesdays now. Locked in. Thank you, Major Pickles. Much appreciated. Hope you are having a great stream. You're looking up old computer games you played as a child. LOL. <laughs> I see, Heineken. I see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm enjoying replaying a bunch of these. It's a weird, kind of fun trip down memory lane. And it's, it's, you know, it's cool. Alright. Alright, Heineko, into the ship or down into the crater? <laughs> that is the question. Also, that bean boozle was a lime, not a jalapeno. Daryl is sending me, um, I think he's sending me normal jelly bellies, or not normal jelly bellies, uh, <laughs> we're going to hell, okay. <laughs> um, he's sending me sour, um, bean boozled, normal bean boozled, and I think he said one other kind of bean boozled. What do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipe. What's in hell? A crab. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe Can't you didn't hell is know a it, but this is the bullies club, and I just happen to be the president. <gasps> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Squaw, have you ever considered that you're holding on to inanimate objects as an outcry for love and affection? Yeah, I have. <laughs> and if you don't get lost, I'll bop you in the kisser. Hmm. I guess we're not getting the flashlight. Delightful. All right. Well, let's get out of here for now. So we're going to have to come up with some sort of solution. Because we need the flashlight. Any suggestions? <laughs> Ah, right, we are in a plane. Oh yeah, sometimes this will have a lock on it and then there'll be a pipe in there, but this time we don't have anything. So I don't think there'll be anything up here. I don't see any conch shells or anything. Hmm. Ah, not conch shells. Um, sea urchins. You know. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta think of something to do with Mr. Bully to get the flashlight. This guy's just hanging out over here. I guess we're going up here now. Look, a towel! <laughs> Let's go left this time first. Oh, no, a purple sea urchin. Look, a purple sea urchin. There we go. So we'll be able to go back to the fair now. no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. Who knew? You just made that up, didn't you? Uh huh. All right, now if memory serves, we need this to be able to go under the waterfall. Because if we try and go under the waterfall, Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Then I Wait. think we <laughs> do that. Even though I don't know why we can't just swim underneath the waterfall, because we're fish. <gasps> that knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find that another way easy. to get to that waterfall. So I think we can use our shovel hey, Luther, to help dig me that out. out. This old log and, and then we can make a water. tunnel. Wookie dokie. Wookie dokie. Ta da! Luther, help me push this And off. somehow well, we managed to push it into the waterfall without the waterfall case, pushing I'll it away. You know, we are masters of physics. We create our own oh. physics. We don't We're need really real physics. Keep pushing. Oh. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, thanks for that lurk, Major Pickles. And Sheepdog517, thanks for that follow over on Kick. Welcome to the crazy crew. We are doing some nostalgic childhood games. Things that used to occupy my time when I would get some computer time. Alright, we've got an orange bean boozled for that follow. Hope you are having a marvelous Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a habanero. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, we're spicy. Body for the 4,000 to the community challenge of our Twitch. Oh, I'm dying. Of the fire. Oh, wow, well, show. Hey, it's the lady. Prepare to be amused and I'm very proud of all my performers. They worked so hard to make this show world famous. My eyes are crying. Hi, Tim. It wasn't a kitty treat. All right. And thus we get another theater show. What? Come on, folks. Let's hear it. Show them that you love them. What was that? Theater business on <coughs> underwater sure has gone downhill. Oh, whoops, sorry. I meant to switch. <laughs> Dying. Oh, now my nose hey, is gonna start. Let's make some noise out there. Uh, what's next? Yeah, that's a tentacle. Of the show so far. Oh, <laughs> we're all booing. Okay, my mouth is starting to be less on fire. Why are we smashing a watermelon? Why is he sentient? Was that great or what? Yeah, you bet it was! I don't get it! Was the watermelon sentient or not? Did we just witness a murder on the stage? Ugh. I'm confused. So 
Now, what do you think of this show so far? Performance. Right. How many more of these do we have? She's terrifying. Far too smiley. I think movie theater has a beat. Hey, Lady Banan. Thanks for coming in and dropping it. Adorable, cute little pig emoji. Come on, folks, let's hear it. Hope Show you're having a great night. Bubble. I entirely missed that, but I don't think I missed much. Piano solo editing. All right. Well, now that I've recovered from my habanero bean, hopefully this show will be over soon, so that we can continue on our merry hunt. Come on, everybody, let's put those fins together. That's it. Oh, it's now my nose is running. Monty, I need a Kleenex. If you hear this, I need a Kleenex. Oh, more sentient fruit. Are we murdering this stuff? Yes. Yes, we are. Fruit murderers, that's what these fish are. Give it up, folks. Let's hear some applause. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the beginning. That means we can get out of this crazy place. What a crazy place that was. But yeah, I think so far the movie theater has the best shows. Um, can we go up there? Okay. That's several minutes of my life. I will never get back. But it was a good chance to get the spikes in this game. One of the golden pipes is stuck in that banana tree. That looks like it would be too high for us to jump. Maybe I could move the pipe with telekinesis. The raw power of my mind. Sure. Ooh. Telekinesis fish. Ouch! What's the matter? I think I sprained my brain. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to find another way to get that golden pipe down from that banana tree. Ties definitely grow on trees. That is what we have learned. We found a monkey. Are you okay? I'd be better if my boat hadn't sprung a leak. I had to strike my sail and use it to plug the hole. Without a sail to catch the wind, I'm stuck out here. <sighs> that island has beautiful looking banana tree. I wish I could get over there. Hmm. Perhaps we have something to stuff in the hole so you mm, can hoist your perhaps, sail. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> that would be stupendous. Then I could get moving again. All right. Let's give her this. My poor plug. leaking boat. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved. How do you know her name, Freddy? Did she say her name? I don't okay, remember her saying her name. Rip. Good news. The Freddy's secretly a uh, The bad news is I ripped your sail badly. No, it looks like. You ripped it quite well. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll get your sail fixed. We promise. Okay. At least now you're not sinking. I mean, it could be worse. But yeah, did they, did she tell them that her name was Magenta? Or is Freddy some kind of weird psychic stalker fish? 
will never know. Okay, let's go back. We did we go down there? No, we did. Someone is calling me. Did we go down here? Oh yes, it's you. But it says private number, so I'm not answering it. They can leave me a message. Alrighty. Uh, we have our sea urchins, but we're gonna go here first. Ooh. I am Pierre the tailor. Excuse me, Monsieur Pierre. A friend of ours needs a sail repair. Could you mend it for us? Oh, yes. Oui, oui. I'm the great sail mender. To repair the sail is a snap. Okay. Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? He literally just oui, said oui. yes. Right now observe. Freddy is deaf sometimes. He's not paying attention. Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. Sure, I have no idea what you just said, but sure. Voila. Did you thread? Fini. I don't think that's well, how sewing works, guys. Cheese. Cool. Gosh, Pierre, I just want to say... You are going to say that watching Pierre at work was the greatest thrill of your little green life, no? Ah, oh, brother, when it comes to tuning his own horn, this guy is a one-man brass band. Pierre, where did you learn to sew? So what? So. So what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we got our sale. Let's go here and give him our purple sea urchins and see what is in this tunnel. Here's a purple sea urchin. One. We can count to four. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before yes, you yes, guys I get know, through the door. I know, I know. Another purple I can only sea give them to you one at a time. Don't you dare tell me you need two more. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's okay. our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately we for you two, uh, having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. <laughs> Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Apparently. Put the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch oh. each other, they'll go Another away. Mini game. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Okay. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Oh no, oh no, guys, I've ruined life. Okay, a mouse astronaut goes with mouse astronaut. Oh, I should put it there. Oh, well, that'll get rid of them all. <laughs> Alright, let's put the octopus there. Mouse tr not. Astronaut. That's not what I wanted. Oops. Stupid mouse astronaut. Oh no! Oh, oh, hey, look, we did it. Oh. 
I don't know if that's a good thing having that up there. Mouse We finished the level! We did it! In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Fun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous fun house mirror replica. There is no time for that now, Luther. What the mirror is for? Did you meet anybody yeah. who needed a mirror? That is a very good question. Let's go give the monkey back her sail. And then I'm assuming the monkey will give us that pipe. <laughs> maybe the bully? Oh, oh, yeah, maybe. We'll try that, Heineko. We'll give the monkey your sail, and then we'll go try that out. Hey, Magenta, we've brought you something you really wanted. A banana split? No, it's the sail for your boat. <laughs> Good as new. A banana split. Nice. Wow, I'm impressed. And even better, I'm moving. That's quite the sale. You don't want to go boating anywhere else, oh, did you? It's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. Magenta, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? Hmm. What I want to know is if a fish stole a the cod pleasure. shell, how did it get the golden pipe up there? Also, Proto's here. What? Thanks a lot, Magenta. There. <laughs> to figure oh, out where I'm pointing. It. One more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. Pickle? Yum! Bananas. Banana? What a banana. Monty, go get me a banana. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find that conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. I mean, that's how yearly festivals work. Hey, Major Pickles, thanks for popping in again and dropping some emotes. Where was the... Where was that? Oh, it's down here. Right. Right, we have to go past the seahorse. No bananas. Oh. I like bananas. I haven't had bananas in so long. I want a banana. Banana. As president of the Bully Club, bananas now, I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what the? What? Uh, you what? Huh? Yikes! They brought reinforcements! Big, stupid-looking, ugly ones! Ah! Ah! Come 
we borrow that flashlight now? Sure. In fact, somehow you can that works. that flashlight as long as you want. Cool. I'm never bringing it back. It's mine now. Apparently that worked. So there you go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now we gotta go back to the thing. That means we're probably close to being done this one. I feel like this has gone really fast. Well, it's apparently been almost an hour of streaming. Kind of felt like an hour. Okay, then we gotta go in here. And then we gotta go in here. And then we gotta go down here. It sure is dark in here, but I think I have something that will help us see. This flashlight will add some light, Luther, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Who, me? I wasn't afraid. <laughs> Scared away all- Ah! Kissing fish! Alright, there was the golden shell. Ready! There's a golden pipe in here! Pipe thing? Way to go, Luther! Way to go, Luther! We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! I feel like Come this one's really easy. Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Old Soggy! Here you go, boy! Oh, Come on, he's Luther. off. We've got a bad guy to catch. Who put Uncle What's His Face in jail? Where is the jail keeping fish? Oh. Old Soggy! The thief! <laughs> Uh oh A jewel! Uh -oh. I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Uh oh! Uh oh! It's not gonna end well. Uh oh! Hey! What happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a well, way to Well, this took a turn. So you can put the jewel remember. back it's and hard. we can catch that thief. Well, do I? Maybe I do. Oh, well, yeah, cuz it's all the rooms and then they've got go the different on colors ahead on the doors. And track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Yeah, because then we got the doors, and then you have to go through certain doors, go to other doors, and lights, and holy cow. Alright, let's do this. Hey, I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Right? Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. Okay, so we gotta find a red thing. Red thing. This part is always the part that, if I remember, took the longest. Cause we've gotta find, so we need this thing, but we gotta find a chisel. So that we can chisel it to then do something. I think, if memory serves. It's been a long time. <laughs> Okay, so we went through the green door. Let's see, we tried the black door. Ha, here we go. It's a chisel. I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. I just wanna, you can see what's down here. Yeah, see, because there's the green gem. Which we don't need. And, and then if we went in here, we would find eventually the blue gem would be up here. 
That's how the triangles work. So yeah, basically it generates a different color. You gotta find the chisel, you gotta find the the gem that you're looking for. What's here? Oh. Nothing, it might just be another chisel location. Okay, we need some of this gem. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to yeah. get Luther out. We need Luther. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Okay. Hey, the crystal grew back. It's very efficient. Alrighty. And that was also easier than I remember it being. I have an like maybe idea. <laughs> My tiny child brain had a lot harder time with some things. Ooh. See, and now we can grab the key because it'll still have the gem right on the thing. Yippee! That's a I very got good it. key. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go let Luther out of here. And then that means we're getting closer and closer to Pajama Sam time. And thus, we defeated the Temple of Doom. Look, Luther! The thief must have dropped this bag! <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case! Come on! Do I get to know the answer? No. No concho means no festival! And I just polished my tooth! Oh, the colossal irony of it all! And now, oh. for the first time ever, the show won't go on! Alright guys, cast your votes. Fault. Who do I'm you think stole mind. the con <laughs> shell? Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this cane. Which oh. means the thief is... Can <laughs> give it to the wrong person. Kill Barker. Mr. Carnival Man. No, oh, that could have been anybody's cane in that bag. You haven't got a thing on me. I don't know why he would put his cane in the bag. Oh no. <sighs> okay, so maybe you do have something Send him to the brig. I confess, I did it. The festival is the one day of the year when nobody comes to the carnival. And if nobody comes to the carnival, I don't make any money. But what's money compared to the happiness that the festival brings all your friends Yeah. Together? <laughs> anyway, no matter what anyone else says to make it seem right, it's just plain wrong to steal. You know, yep. there are winners and losers, and I, I sure don't feel like a winner. Top top. I'm sorry. Here's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. Yeah. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. It's quite the title, Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. Oh, and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Hey, old bud. Just do your duty. Don't go oh, up grand there, please. Exalted keeper of the conch. We don't need Toby's typing in chat. And thus, the Founders Festival took place. Gil was convicted of violating Penal Code 214 for excessive greediness. He was sentenced to 4,672 hours of public service silently working in the library. It's Case a lot closed. Of hours. It's a lot of hours. 4,000 hours? 
that's a lot of hours. And there we go, guys. Freddy Fish 3 complete. Hey, look, Pajama Sam. And that is where we are going next. So there you go, guys. What did you think of that one? That felt really short, even though I guess it was just over an hour. Not too shabby. There we go. 